Okay, here we are at uh, Tower Pond outside of Ennis, Montana, and we're looking at peat-based floating islands. We're also looking at an undercut bank right there, and apparently, occasionally, these uh, the bank will break off forming uh, new floating islands like the ones we're looking at right here. Uh, this particular pond, by the way, grew the largest trout that occurred on any of four ponds on the property. A massive rainbow that weighed some 20 pounds? Over 20. Over 20. Over 20. 32 inches long. 32 inch long, wild rainbow trout. Right. Awesome. Um, notice these roots occurring underneath the island, and you'll see a thin layer of uh, sort of a reddish brown uh, material called paraphyton. That paraphyton launches the food web. If you look here, you'll see there's there's dragonflies buzzing by. Well, their nymphs colonize this these floating islands. We biomimic them with Biohaven floating treatment wetlands or floating islands, uh, and we're also based here in Montana at Shepherd. Notice the woody, fibrous, perennial plants that occur along the edge. We've seen some of those occurring on the floating islands as well, too. Uh, what I'm looking at right here is probably a variation of willow, but over there to the left looks like a variation of leather leaf. But look at the structure of the peat underwater and the three-dimensional effect that it provides. If you want to trigger a food web, if you want things to go really well for high-quality fish, high-quality fishing, you want these. It's perfect. Wildflowers, forbs, wetland plants, but perennial in, in every case. Perfect. Wonderful.